Before watching this video, I suggest watching the earlier video on setting up the basics for location navigation. Now I'm going to show you some tricks for doing more complex navigation. Now, in the original video, we showed how when you're at side A, you click Set Navigation, you get to this screen, and you do your navigation thing. And when you're done, you go back, and then you go and edit Bravo, and you go back to Set Navigation, and you do your thing for Bravo, and so on. Now you may have noticed that at the top title bar area toward the right, there's this little icon here. And this gives you a little convenient way to switch between the different locations without having to go back and choose the location just to get back into set navigation. So I can just use this arrow here, and this is a little scrolly menu, to choose side A. Now I'm setting the navigation for side A. Um, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. This is a, just an easy way to do all your navigation at once without having to take the time to go back to the location, choose the right location, then go back to set navigation. It just maybe easier to set your navigation all at once. That's one trick. Now another trick you may not have noticed when I went quickly in the other video. If I go to set navigation for side A, let's look and see what we're doing here. Oh, this is the Bravo side. Let's go back out to Alpha side. Now you notice I made garage go forward into garage and the reciprocal navigation made it so that the down arrow backwards took us back to side A and so on and then left and right. Let's actually say once we're in the garage we want to go forward and get out to the Charlie side. Maybe there's some access that's provided there. So I'm going to go here. I don't really care. Let's see. I'm going to edit the Charlie side and I'm going to say actually let me edit the garage and I'm going to go here and say set navigation. So I'm in the garage. Back goes to side A. I'm going to say turn the reciprocal on. I must have done that off accidentally. I'm going to go forward to take me to the Charlie side. So we're in the garage. We know that back took me to side A and forward is now going to take me to Charlie side. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go here. I'm in the garage. I go back to side A. I go forward to the garage and I go forward again. I'm at the Charlie side. Now what's interesting here is that the garage is now down. But now looking at the picture, garage really should be forward. It shouldn't be down here. So I don't want garage to go forward there, so let me go back. That's because of the reciprocal link that I was setting up for garage. Remember if I did set navigation, I'm in the garage forward goes to Charlie. So let me go now to Charlie's side and I'm going to get rid of, I don't want this to be reciprocal because this would remove the link in the garage as well. The garage forward going to Charlie. I'm going to say don't make this reciprocal. Let me just remove the garage there, the point, and, and say from Charlie's side forward is going to go into the garage. So now from Charlie forward goes to the garage, which is what I wanted. So if I'm in the garage and I go forward, I'm getting to Charlie. Now if I go forward from Charlie's side, I'm back in the garage. Now here's the trick. If I go forward, I just came from the Charlie side. If I go forward, I'm getting back to Charlie side. But now if I'm at Charlie side and go forward, I expect that forward should take me to the alpha side. It's only when, let me go back to the alpha side, it's only this, that forward and back only makes sense if the alpha, if I'm starting at the alpha side. See, if I start at alpha side and I go forward, I get to the garage. And if I go forward, I get to the Charlie side. That makes sense when I got into the garage from the alpha side. But getting into the garage from the Charlie side is not intuitive because it looks like I should be able to go forward to get, I came from Charlie into the garage, it looks like it should go to alpha. So we're kind of stuck. And the problem is that with the relative, the left, right, forward, back. We're at the garage, it has no remembrance of where we came from. So we have to assign forward going somewhere. But we can't remember that we came from the Charlie side or from the Alpha side. So that could be a problem and it really could confuse people. The way that we suggest solving is a little bit of a trick. Is that we, there's no way to remember where you came from. But we could make two different garages. One garage is when you've entered from the Alpha side. And the other garage is when you've entered from the Charlie side. 
And if you make those different garages, really they're the same picture, the same condition. That way you can set up the navigation so that when you're in the garage and you've entered from the alpha side, when you continue forward you get to Charlie. But if you started at the Charlie side and you went into the garage that was started that was uh, coming from the Charlie side, going forward would get to the alpha side. Let's see what that looks like. Hope I haven't lost you yet. Um, so let's actually create a second garage. I'm going to go here and use a um, I could do a new location and I'm going to say we're going to do this one called garage from Charlie and I'm going to copy the garage's assets create that now we are at garage from Charlie so let's set our navigation for garage from Charlie now the key thing here we definitely want to make sure reciprocal navigation is off I think about why you want it to be off and I can explain a little bit later now we're in the garage from Charlie which means that we've just come from Charlie forward into the garage so it means that if we continue forward we want it to go to side A and if we want to go backwards we want to go back to Charlie's side now what we want to now do is to go over to our Charlie pointer and now forward shouldn't go to garage I'm gonna change that to go forward from Charlie should go to garage from C garage from Charlie. Now it should work the way that we want it to work. So if I go here and I say play sim, we're in the garage from the Charlie. We've entered from the Charlie side. So if I go forward, I'm back at side A. Now if I'm at side A and I go into the garage and I keep going forward, I'm back at side C. If I'm now at side C and going forward, I'm at garage and if I keep going forward I'm back at A. So it solves our problem by having two copies of the garage. It's not that elegant but it works. Now I mentioned earlier why we do not want to have the reciprocal link. Let's go into the uh, set navigation here. When we're setting up our navigation we very much for this Charlie we did not want to have the reciprocal on. The reason is that if reciprocal are on and we selected a button like going to side A, once we selected that side A, it would actually make a link from side A back to garage C. It would make a link back to the wrong garage. And it would make it would essentially make a down arrow. As we can see here, watch what happens. If I'm looking at side A over here, and side A goes into the garage, if I now go into garage C, and if I say instead of forward going to side A, I say forward goes, um, I'm sorry, if I, if I actually remove this and I say reciprocal link is on and I say forward now is going to go to side A, watch what happens on side A. Side A, now there's a new arrow on here. Garage, it, it's made down go to garage, it, go to garage from C. It's added a reciprocal. We went, we, we went from the garage forward to side A and so it's going to put backward to garage from C, which we don't want to go backward to garage from C. So what I'm going to do is just turn this off and I'm going to delete that arrow. So this is a little uh, a more advanced feature as you get used to using the navigations when to use the reciprocal navigation and when not to. But I hope what you've uh, learned in this video is to see how you use the relative navigation to be consistent with the way your users are going to move through things even if it means duplicating locations so that as they move forward they know where that that that, that their expectation of where they're headed um, is is the way that you set up your scenario